What's up everybody? Eric Frankie here. We're going to trim this um, oil, this olive oil right now, this bottle. So I thought I'd let you see how I do it. Now that's silly, ain't it? So this is our olive oil bottle right here. We're gonna treat it very nicely and very carefully. And so what we're gonna do in that case is uh, I had it under a bag and the bag had some dry bits of clay so I'm just kind of brushing some of that off. There's not too much of it. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna center it on here right on the bottom. So on the bottom I'm gonna get some wet finger very, not too much, okay? Just a little bit, just like that. Now I'm gonna make the wheel wet where I think it's gonna sit. I think it's gonna sit somewhere in that realm. And I'm gonna put it down. Now I'm gonna tap center. About like that. So under here, I'm going to kind of seal the bottom with kind of a rude little fingernail smash action. That's pretty good. Now, I do have one of these. This is a device that the bottom disc spins and the top doesn't. So I could have this here. And look at that, you see? You get these off of Amazon for very cheap. So I have this little line, it's a faint line. I don't know if you can see it, but it's there. And that's where I'm gonna start my wet chattering. I call this wet chattering because it's a little, it's, it's just getting leather hard. Um, so it's gonna have a very heavy, very rough, natural edge of a stone kind of look. Okay, so I'm gonna get some speed and I'm gonna hold this like a drumstick and I'm gonna let it kind of Bounce, baby. Bounce. More bounce. And when I feel it bounce, can you hear that? It's kind of doing the... Like rolling the R's, you know? You'll start seeing that... Um, yeah, see that? So that's what it does right there. What it do, baby? Just kidding. There you go. So this looks pretty crazy. I know that. Um, but that's what a wet chattering does. It look, makes it look pretty intense. Um, but the outcome is really beautiful. And so to separate, and this is something that really helps with glazing too when you're trying to get a defined line. Uh, it's not really the purpose of me doing this, but I've noticed it helps. Um, what I do is I like to create a line. An actual, I'll, I'll dig out a line right above that. Let me get the proper carving tool utensil here. I see where it stops is about right there. So I'm going to hold the top down. I'm going to use my thumb and push this against my thumb for stability. Slowly put that in, maybe. Okay, and like I said, it is a wet chatter. So everything you do can and will be used against you in the kiln of law. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So there we go. Got that one. How about one more? Make a little space and do one above it too. Yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Then I'll smooth it out with a little bit of water. It's almost like burnishing. That's basically a fancy word for smoothing out. Um, yeah, it's basically like burnishing. Just getting it a little. Usually with burnishing, uh, you don't use water. You'll use like the back of a spoon or a metal kidney tool. 
and smooth it out. But you know what? We got some water here. We're really wet right now, you know what I'm saying? So let's just bring it in, baby. Bring it in. Sometimes it's sensual, you know, to have them fingerprints on there. People, you know, they don't want to buy your stuff unless there's a little bit of signature involved, you know what I mean? So anyways, that's that for the body. And so on this um, oil uh, bottle, I'm gonna, I will end up um, glazing just this part and up and that's it. This is gonna be so beautiful, it's hard to believe right now. Um, see if I have any examples behind me. <laughs> nope, no I don't. But anyways, it's very, extremely beautiful, that's why we do it. So I'm gonna spin this around, see if there's anything I should just knock off, you know, some really crazy stuff. Like this is a little bit, there's some crazy creases and folds. And I'm, I'm get, what I'm doing is I'm just basically taking off absolutely loose clay. I don't want, I don't want to lose strength, you know what I mean? So that's that. Now, now, listen to me now, Obi-Wan. Okay, so now I'm gonna get a little bit more water. And I'm just kind of reshaping this top a little more. Kind of centering it a little better too. That's good, I think I like that. Now one trick that we could do also to the neck, to make the neck kind of nice, is go in right here, with that flat side going this way, I'll just cut off kind of like a square notch, you know? Just like that, maybe a little deeper. Baby, what I'm talking about. You can probably barely see that, but believe me, it's there. Um, so, anyways, that's how I trim um, a bottle, and I do a lot of chattering, as you've seen on most of my stuff generally, anyways. And um, I've made this in a way, in a manner that, you know, first of all, let me show it to you. See that? Um, so the bottom, you see that? It's a little grotesque, you know what I'm saying? And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it dry a little little more. Um, and I will literally put it right on its mouth when it's more dry. And on the top, I will put this big disc here. You could use your hand or a bottle cap. Get one of these. They're like 15 bucks on Amazon. Just, just look up. Um, Pottery uh, trimming spinning wheel or something like that. Pottery spinner. That's exactly what I looked up. Put it in the middle, spin it, and I'll t while it's spinning, I'll take this tool and clean up this edge right here. And that's it. That's all you gotta do. I got it kind of heavy because you know when that when that olive oil's in there, you know you want it to last. You don't want it to just get cracked. You know when you're throwing some olive oil in with the pasta and the raviolis and the fettuccine and the all the other pastas, the linguine and the um, spirulini, and there's no such thing as spirulini, but you understand what I'm talking about, don't you? Anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you for all your support, and um, make sure to go check out my shorts videos. They're always there, and subscribe. I love you.